In this video, you are going to learn about the conservation of mechanical energy. So let's begin. The mechanical energy of a system is the sum of its potential energy U and the kinetic energy K of the body. Now we can write E is equal to U plus K where E is the mechanical energy of the system of the body or the object, U is the potential energy and K is the kinetic energy of the body or the object. Now let us consider a conservative force working on an object with a work W then the force transfers energy between kinetic energy K and the potential energy U and then we will write the change in kinetic energy is given as delta K is equal to W and let this is our first equation and the change in potential energy is given as delta U is equal to negative W and let this is our second equation. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to combine equation 1 and equation 2 and as you can see the right hand side of equation 1 and equation 2 is W. So basically I can substitute one of these terms for W and if I do that we will write delta K is equal to negative delta U. Now let's simplify further and if we do that we will write delta K as K2 minus K1 because K2 is my final kinetic energy and K1 is my initial kinetic energy that is equal to negative times inside the bracket U2 minus U1 where U2 is my final potential energy and U1 is my initial potential energy. So let's simplify further. So what we need to do, we need to distribute negative inside the bracket and if we do that we will write K2 minus K1 is equal to negative U2 plus U1 because negative times U2 is negative U2 and the negative times negative U1 is positive U1. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take U2 on the other side and K1 on the other side. So if we do that we will write K2 plus U2 is equal to K1 plus U1. So as you can see the sum of initial kinetic energy and potential energy is equal to the sum of final kinetic energy and final potential energy. So we can say that in an isolated system when the conservative force causes the changes the kinetic and potential energy can change but the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy does not change. So basically what we are trying to say if we are taking a conservative force then the sum of initial and final kinetic energy of the system or I should say of the isolated system is constant and it does not change. This law is known as principle of conservation of mechanical energy and this is how we will define the conservation of mechanical energy. 